again, uh, now we're going to court to try to get this? If we have a problem, we've had a number of people pass away since the beginning of the year. And uh, we've only got a couple where we think we're going to actually have to go to court uh, to, make the, the out, to make it work right. Um, you know, fortunately, it's, there has been enough. It, it, they either haven't used formulas. Uh, I've got one we're working on right now where we're, you know, there is, there's formulas. It, as it turns out, unbeknownst to me, the, the husband and wife who I did the estate plan for many years ago mm -hmm. haven't been living together for the last 20 years. Oh, my gosh. And so now, and they've kept everything in their co-owned trust. Yes. Uh, even though they've been separated and living in different parts of California, and there are different provisions. And the good news is that the, 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 it happens to be the husband who survived and the kids are all of the same mind. Mm -hmm. So there's not going to be any dispute. Yeah. But you could see where there could be a dispute if somebody oh, yes. said, oh, no, I, that formula means what it means, and I want my money now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, there are different lifetime planning techniques uh, that we have used that may not work under this new regime. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if you could talk about some of those that you know, probably can't really do this year or uh, may not be able to do. Well, uh, you know, we've done a lot of Cuperts. The whole purpose of a Cupert is to avoid an estate tax. Now that's a qualified well, qual person. Yeah, qualified personal residence trust. I okay. Lawyers have a tendency mm -hmm. to talk in acronyms. Yeah. It's a qualified personal residence trust, which was a, a device to allow uh, a, where you could get a, a principal residence out, out of your taxable estate and to your kids. You can still use it, but the problem is if there's no estate tax, it doesn't do any good. And so there would be a bit of a gamble doing it this year. Because mm -hmm. if you died this year, you wouldn't need it. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to continue it on for a number of years, yes, it still might make some sense. Probably the one that we use the most, which is a sophisticated lifetime giving technique, it's called a grantor retained annuity trust. And that is designed over a period of time to transfer appreciation in assets to family members uh, basically a state and gift tax free. It's very effective in our community if you have people that have stock that's about to go up in value. If you get a pre-IPO stock or just, you know, uh, what well, used to be developmental, develop, developing real estate used mm -hmm. to be another use, but that's, a, that's too risky right now. But they still have a use uh, if we have an estate tax. And grants would go over a period of years. They usually go right now a minimum of two years. Mm -hmm. One of, the, one of the pieces of legislation that's pending would have grants have a minimum 10-year term, yeah. which would dampen their effectiveness. Uh, but uh, they still can work as, extremely well. And frankly, we're doing a lot of them as people are anticipating even a worse estate tax next year. So doing one of these grants would make sense now. But okay. that's a sophisticated tool. You've got to use your, you get to an attorney who knows what he's doing. Yeah. And so but what it comes down to is that there's many of these things that we have these traditions of using or whatever, and now uh, things are really sort of up in the air. And uh, I guess another one uh, that uh, we're a little concerned about has to do with family partnerships. Yes. Uh, well, family partnerships, you know, is a is a once again a technique we use to uh, lower value. You can uh, basically, if you take a, an on if, uh, an, a business entity that's worth, say, you know, $100,000 and you break it up into 10 pieces, uh, each piece isn't worth 10,000, each 10% piece isn't worth 10 grand. It's mm -hmm. probably worth five grand. Because mm -hmm. the test is, is what you as an outsider would pay me to buy that interest. Right. And so we go through the, what's called valuation discounting. One of the things that's been kicked around in Congress is to st stop people from doing that. Mm -hmm. Completely as a question whether it's constitutional or not. But that's another thing, and that the uh, uh, that people are, you know, tr there's a proposal be, that's floating out there, and we yeah, just don't know what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, that proposal's <laughs> there. We don't They're know. All over the place. <laughs> uh, and there, you know, it's a transaction that's complex and expensive, and has some other risks. So people, I think, are a little hesitant to do it when the the tax system is as unsure as it is at the yeah. moment. Okay. What are some things to think about uh, doing now? Well. Uh, if you're planning on making a generation skipping direct transfer, this would be the time to do it because you can, and under the gift tax rules, you can do a million dollars and it's subject to that. 
But, but even if you go over, you're only subject to one tax, and that's the gift tax. Mm -hmm. Where before, if you went over the million dollars, you would pay not only the, the gift tax, you'd also pay the generation skipping tax with an effective total rate of about 70%. So if you're considering doing generation skipping gifting, this may be the time to do it. Uh, another interesting concept that I'm working on right now is, is that right now there is no federal estate tax. Mm -hmm. So if you have a trust or estate that's pending, uh, you could make complete and outright distribution because there's no requirement to report it, there's no requirement to do anything. Um, and so uh, making distributions rather quickly might be something to think about. I think probably the more prudent thing people are going to do is that even for people dying in January, if, if they made the tax retroactive, that tax return wouldn't be due until uh, about April of 2011. You can put it on, you get a, it's due in nine months, and you get an automatic six month extension. So you could push out the actual requirement date for filing quite a ways. And so prudent, you probably wait, but if you're aggressive, you might just distribute and say, Go for it. Go for it. There's no tax. I'm distributing. I'm done. Okay. So fortune favors the brave. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess another question here, though, is uh, as a trustee, uh, you know, are you going to be on the hook if something goes wrong? You know, I'm researching that right now. We have actually been retained to render an opinion on this exact point. We're a trustee of a trust has been approached by the beneficiary saying, we want you to distribute this trust right now, and it would be taxable in 2009. It's not taxable now. Um, and what that trustee's liability uh, is interesting, because I don't have the answer yet, uh, because the, uh, the trustee has an obligation to the beneficiaries to you know, manage the trust, and there is no tax. Mm -hmm. uh, the trust is ready to be distributed already. Uh -huh. There's no dispute over anything. Um, and whether the trustee can make tax reserves, uh, seek some kind of indemnification from the beneficiaries, uh, it's up in the air. Yeah. Um, and it's going to hinge on retroactivity effect, too. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's very difficult area right yeah. now. So, Absolutely. folks, be careful out there, but, uh, but be aware. Again, this is mostly going to apply to people who have quite a bit of property. Correct. Uh, and so uh, that might be a saving grace for some of us. Well, it's time for us to wind this thing up, Jim. I want to thank you so much for being well, my you. guest uh, with me on the show today. And uh, we're going to be getting together again, but uh, anyway, I uh, really appreciate yeah, yeah. it. And uh, folks, uh, thanks again for joining us today. And we'll see you next time on Financial Insider Weekly.